Hey there, welcome back all you DIYers. Uh, today, I, I thought I'd kind of share with you a little bit of what I do. Um, getting ready to go out on a camping trip and uh, going to put some miles on. Not, not a lot, but things I kind of wanted to be prepared for. So I'm going to show you what I get packed up in the truck before I leave. So let me show you what I got. All right, so first of all, um, I'm going to take my impact with me. Um, just a Ryobi 18 volt impact, half inch. And um, I, I picked up a few new things because I got something new that I kind of wanted to. It, typically, I, I have stuff that's in the camper, but these are the things I'm going to have in my truck that not only are going to help me when I go camping, but. Also, if uh, I, I got to get somebody out of a jam, somebody's broke down the side of the road, flat tire, whatever, um, my truck can kind of, I don't know, more or less be a rescue truck for me. So help somebody out. So um, one thing I'm definitely packing with me is my my impact. Um, I picked me up a little, a lot of some bunch of these products I actually got from Harbor Freight. This is a little Pittsburgh three pound sledge. I, I, you never know. I, I thought I'd grab that. Um, I also picked up this uh, Pittsburgh 8 ton jack. Now, this one here, um, the reason I went with the 8 ton, um, I, I, I got it for actually if I, if I end up getting a flat tire on my, on my camper, um, this will pick it up for sure. Um, I got about an 8,000 pound camper and an 8, this is an 8 ton jack. Um, should not have any issues with picking it up enough. Um, I, I also have the Anderson leveling system that's supposed to allow you to um, get one wheel kind of jacked up in the air a little bit enough to be able to uh, change the other tire. Um, I've never done that yet. I've, fortunately, yeah, knock on wood, I, I've not been in that situation. Um, we just put new tires on because our old tires were six years old um, and we felt that it was time to update the tires on there. So we got the jack. Now, the other fun little thing that I got was, um, I got this uh, roll pack from uh, Rhino USA. I've got a few of the other products. Um, I got some tie down straps, I got a toe strap. And quite frankly, I, I really do like their stuff. They seem to be really good quality. And so I've kind of, kind of been sticking with them a little bit and uh, they've been good stuff. Uh, this here, um, this pack here, nice. Like I said, it, it's, I've got it already packed with a bunch of tools already. And this isn't all that heavy. And it's got a shoulder strap that goes with it too. Um, yeah, not too bad. Um, but I can unlock it here and roll this out. Now, I will bring you guys over here. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like here. So here we go. We got just kind of, this is kind of embroidered on there, specialty tools, miscellaneous tools, pliers, wrenches, sockets. Whoops. There, sockets, wrenches, pliers, miscellaneous, and specialty tools. So as I'm getting ready or I, I take off and, uh, as, as I take off and go help somebody out, this is all organized and ready to go. Um... I, if if I miss something here, guys, um, help me out. Maybe there's something you guys pack that I'm that I'm missing out on, and I I don't realize I need. So as I go through these things, let me know what you pack in yours. Um, in my specialty tools down here, <laughs> I put a marker. I got a little can of WD-40. There's some hitch pins. Here's a a, a little uh, tie down strap to be able to pull some cords or something together. A little flashlight. Of course, it's a uh, Ryobi flashlight, you know, so um, I got a couple more pins. Uh, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. Oh, here in the miscellaneous tools, I got uh, a couple of multi-screwdrivers, um, a roll of uh, electrical tape, my pliers. Like I said, these I picked up from Harbor Freight today. Here's some uh, uh, Lyman's pliers, needle nose, channel locks, uh, uh, side cutters. And just a, a regular pair of pliers too. Uh, this this little set here was less than twenty bucks for this 
for all those pliers right there. That I didn't think that was too bad. And like I said, they just need to work in the situation. Um, in my wrenches, I just simply went with two crescent wrenches. Um, this one I did pick up from uh, from uh, um, Harbor Freight today. Um, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, there's some of these. I'm sure I should I should reconsider some of what I have. Maybe change something up. Um, in my sockets, I did go ahead and I did buy, I could have went with just the regular black impacts, but um, sometimes you get out there, you got specialty wheels, I got, I got chrome wheels and stuff on my truck. Nice to have these with the, with the nylon on the side of these sockets with the nylon on the side of them. They're all color coded. They got a nice, here, I'll bring it in here. So here, they're color coded like that. Um, they're all different colors. They got the nice iodized lettering and stuff on numbering on it, I guess. Um, so yeah, those are ready to go. And then I did throw in a short extension. Um, my truck, of course, I have those weird, sp uh, splined, uh, lug nuts on there. So I do make sure that I do have that with me and, uh, make sure that the, uh, I got a socket that also fits it. So, um, Good to go there. Um, and then let's see if I got anything in the top of here. I do not have anything. There's nothing on this label on the very top. Um, I don't have anything in that one. So these are some of the things I'm going to throw in my truck. Um, I don't know if it's going to be super helpful for you guys, but maybe there's something I'm missing. If you guys watch this, go down in the go down in the comments and and tell me something. Hey, dude, you you missed out on whatever you, you you're gonna need to have this um maybe maybe uh you know what i'm gonna throw some zip ties in here you know you can never have any, enough zip ties so um that'll definitely be something i'll throw some zip ties in here right now uh, make sure i have those but uh i will i am thinking about throwing a roll of duct tape in the truck also just to have it you just don't know um and I know I could probably pack flares and triangles and a whole lot of other stuff too. Um, I do have a compressor like you guys have seen me. I put that compressor on my truck, so I have that. Um, of course, I got jumper cables in the truck. I got tie-down straps in the truck. Um, I, 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 got a, I got some some blankets and stuff to be able to work in the on, on the ground if I needed to. Uh, there's just some moving blankets that I got. Um, those are in the truck. Um, Gosh, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but if you guys think of something, throw it down in the description below or in the comments below, because, uh, yeah, you you may have a lot more experience than I do with this, and, you know, that sure helped me out, so, but if you're just starting out, want to get your stuff started, this is a good start, and uh, I know there's a bunch of other brands out there that, the, that uh, make these roll packs, so check them out. This one is, I think, really good quality. Um, and like I said, it, it really nice. I can fold it up just like this. I throw these buckles on here. Actually, I'll pull all the way down like that. Pull the buckles out and they are adjustable. I can, I can cinch them up here a little bit too. I like that. Oh yeah, that's supposed to go underneath there, isn't it? Pull that up there, pull this one over, lock it in there. Look at that. I mean, that actually, for as much stuff as I have in there, I'm I'm kind of pleased with that. I think that'll that'll work out pretty nicely. So hopefully this help you guys out, get you a little started, be prepared just in case something happens. And heck, you could I could turn around and I could throw these things in the in the SUV or hell, even in the Jeep when we go out, if we go out four wheeling or something like that, just to have something be prepared, you know. But uh, anyway, hope this helps you out. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Later. See ya.